Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 46 of the Platinum Walkthrough for Dark Cloud 2. I did a few episodes off cam- a few dungeons off camera. These are very easy floors. I don't think it'll- I don't, I don't think that's a big deal, really. I wasn't originally planning to actually record this video, but I am just going to anyway. So... Basically, I'm just going to be going through all these floors and getting all the medals. I mean, I was already going to do this anyway, because you have to for the Metalhead Trophy, but I'm just going to record it so you guys can kind of see somebody do it and you know what to do. So, I did, um, if you watch part 45, I did, uh, max the attack on all my weapons, basically. So, I'm pretty much not even going to pick up experience points from enemies, honestly, except for her armband. There's really no point. So on this floor we just attack and defeat everything with our armband. Yeah, like this thing has max attack and it still doesn't do the most damage in the world. I'm gonna put stamina drink on, just so we can uh, take advantage of that. We can just create them anyway now. If we can actually find where it is, yeah. It's not the hardest thing to create, but it is pretty expensive. Needing mighty healing, you can only end up making four in one floor, really. So I also want to try and be as quick as possible with this, since we have 12 minutes to do this floor. It's usually a good idea to charge up the first attack if you can. Since the first attack is going to be the one that engages the enemy, you actually have time to charge it up. Uh, we might have to do a little bit of backtracking. This is actually a very small floor. Gemron mode, because it's slightly faster, actually. And while we do this, if we do pick up any experience points, we may as well have it go on to the Gemron, since we're gonna have to grind him up at some point anyway. It's not gonna take us 12 minutes to do this floor. It's pretty small, and all the enemies are in basically one spot, so easy. Another one. <laughs> okay, we're taking some damage. Let's eat some cheese. We may as well put this on our hotbar too. I've never really been good at keeping a healing item on the hotbar. Well, I've just never really done it really. That's kind of why, I guess. Okay, we kind of have to open all these chests just because I don't know if one will be a Mimic or not. This is actually a very easy floor. I am only gonna run each floor on camera once. If I end up not getting the medals on one floor, I'll just come back and do that later off camera. And I'm not going to do the item medals on camera, simply because, <coughs> excuse me, Simply because they're just horrible. I'm going to have one of those done um, on camera in the actual Metalhead Guide video. The reason for this is because you are, you're going to have to run those floors twice. Because you are not going to beat the floor in the time limit just using items. It won't happen. Okay, stamina drink. Let's go.
It'll save us some time. Honestly, I feel like it doesn't even increase her damage that much. That's a good idea to have uh, the absorption effect on here. Because at this point in the game, you do high damage, so you can get some pretty big heals. I think our armband's at max attack now. No. We'll just throw an attack crystal on there, because why not? There we go, max attack now. Let's see how much those po two points of damage do for us. <laughs> Who knows, maybe the jump to max is like something significant or something. Oh. Maybe it was actually. Oh yeah, wow, okay. So I, it seems like the jump to max is actually like pretty big. Let's take this guy out quickly. I don't want to deal with his explosions. If, if one of them goes off, it's not good. I'm not going to open that chest. Okay, another one. I am going to use a stamina drink for this guy. Because I really don't want one of his little things to explode and deal damage. Because then we're going to have to redo this. Alright, cool. We got it. And we got the shortest wipeout time, which is good. All right, time for the time for the fun bit. <laughs> uh, we'll do this. I'm just gonna grab this thing, organize my inventory, and stick it at the bottom. Do ourselves a favor. Okay, can we even do this in six shots? Yeah, quite easily, actually. Well, not easily. You never know what might happen. But we have a generous amount of shots for this map layout. It's basically a straight shot. This is an easier place to do the speed of, luckily. As soon as I frickin' say that too, huh? Okay. Well, there's a lot less of off-course things. Like, Balance Valley speed is probably one of the hardest places. Okay, that looks fine. We have two shots. We should be able to get that. Don't want to hit it too hard, I just kind of want to get inside of the distortion. Okay, we might be a little too close. Okay, well it seems like we may be able to line that up. Hopefully I didn't get a little impatient there. Beautiful, nice. <clears throat> Off to a good start. Always open these chests, because you might get something like that. We're definitely going to give this to Monica. She has less HP and three items, less of defense. We're going to get out of here with Steve, because he's super speed, man. Steve is just overpowered. <laughs> he is awesome. That is a good start, though. 100%ing the first floor. Not bad at all. I did delete some items from my inventory, items that I don't think we're ever going to really need again. Like rolling logs and like sturdy cloth or whatever. Like we can just go get that again later. If we do end up needing it for some reason. Oh, speaking of uh, Steve floor, this will be easy for him. Big guy right off the bat. 
taking on Titan. I think he looks better in Final Fantasy XIV. I think using the swords is a better thing. I'm glad that they make it so these swords are very craftable. Like, it's very easy to get two diamonds at this point in the game by the time you can actually make this. But if you were trying to... If you used up all your sunstones, you can still have a very powerful ultimate weapon. So I am glad that they don't completely mess you up for using the sunstones. Luckily, I didn't use them. And... That made it so we can have the Nova Cannon as an option. But you can do everything you need with the Samurai Sword. Yeah, these items are designed for Steve. Indestructible coin. I mean, I don't think we're going to use that, but it doesn't hurt to have, I suppose. We don't really need the experience. A lot, huh? Let's take out this guy first. If we can actually reach him. Oh, there's two of these... These things. Golden fat guys. <laughs> it's okay for me to say that, because I used to be fat. <laughs> the enemies here are kind of interesting looking. Not a bad thing to have right there. Let's just use a repair powder. I'm pretty much gonna go through all the easy floors in this video, and then I guess I'll do the harder floors in the next video. I think that'll be a good layout. That's what I get for getting a little impatient and not blocking. Oh well. We have Ride Pod Fuel, and it's very easily accessible at this point in the game. Very easy to just go buy some more. The game is very hard at this point, but it's also very easy at the same time. Handing the coins out like candy right now, seriously. <laughs> Although you can't actually you can't actually buy indestructible coins at this point in the game anymore. Same with dark coins, they go away. They aren't particularly useful, honestly, in my opinion. And they do still drop occasionally. You can play with a darkness coin if you want, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like you could have darkness on your melee weapon and then have absorption on your ranged weapon. So then if you start taking damage, you can just um, heal yourself with your ranged weapon, in theory. Of course, if you're going for a metal, it'll be a little bit harder. We're probably going to end up using a fuel here. That's fine. Bullseye. We're seriously just getting coins like candy on this floor. We've literally gotten four or five. If we don't need to use a... Re a re um, a ride oh why can't why can't I speak? If we don't need to use a ride pod fuel. Okay, this is silly now. They're not they're just so common that's not even exciting. Okay. Oh well, whatever. It's faster to just use the fuel than go see Cedric anyway. We'll just use both of them. That's two metals. Okay, how hard's this shot? Oh, it literally spawned us just right beside it. Honestly, we don't really need much from here, but I'm, I, I'm just kind of curious, so let's open it. Another coin. I saw that coming. 
Seriously, what's with this floor and coins? Okay, we have five shots. Where's the actual speed of thing? One, two, three, four. This is kind of hard to get done in five shots, but I'm not gonna not try, so let's go. Don't want to hit this one too hard. Five is kind of stretching it for this. If they gave us six, that would have been nice. I don't actually know if I can do this with uh Let's just go look at what this is. Is it a pillar or a hole? It's a pillar, okay. I don't know if I can actually get this done with only five shots. Hopefully that's not too hard. Okay. If we mess up any shots, we're not getting this. No pressure. Man, I don't want this to go into the corner. Let's look at that quickly. Okay, so what I'm thinking is maybe just kind of nudging this over a little bit. Let's just nudge it over. And then we have two shots still. That was even a little bit further than I wanted. Okay, I don't want to hit this too hard. I don't want the thing to go crazy. Okay. Hey, oh, yeah, we're probably not going to get this then. This is all luck now. Well, let's look at the mini-map and hopefully it goes where it says it will. This is saying it's going to go into the distortion, so let's try it. That was close. Nope, we're done. Okay. Sometimes you can just hope that the mini-map will help you, but it does not always. Oh well. No big deal. I kind of, um... I'm off today, and I just kind of figure that I want to finish this game up today. I think it's possible if I just kind of keep at it. I'm expecting it to take like 10 or 12 hours, but I think it's do I think it's doable. It's annoying that it keeps bringing us back to the dead end. I don't want to do it right now. Okay, we're gonna go here. We're just gonna go for this. The speed, the speed, I cannot talk. We're just gonna go for the time challenge and the speed up, and that'll lower the stress for the item thing later. A revenant. It doesn't really matter who does this. Steve may or may not be faster at some points. Max and Monica can be pretty quick too. If there's like more than one enemy at a time, I may just hop on Max or Monica. I feel like 12 minutes is pretty generous, so I may just kind of hop on Monica and give experience to the Gemron. So that we don't have to grind as much later. I think that'll be a kind of a good idea. Oh. You wouldn't shoot fireballs at one of your own, right? Lately, the humans have been encroaching on our territory. Better watch your back, okay? Yeah, I think you should. Sorry, bud. Look at that 4k damage. <laughs> wow, I actually deal damage to the enemies here in Gemron mode. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, it's not amazing, but it is surprising. Man, these things give so much experience and the bar still moves so slowly. These things suck. Monster form sucks. I'm glad there's no medals here for it, although I think I might prefer it over the items. Her armband is better against those things. Yeah, so it seems like this is the most efficient way to do it. While I'm kind of just grinding through here, just get the experience points over to Mr. Gemron. 
I mean, he's still got 18 levels to go, right? <laughs> no, maybe it's more. I think he needs to get up to 76, actually. There's no real reason they had to make the monster transformation this slow. I'm just glad that the trophy only requires you doing it for one. Nothing like getting barfed on, and that makes you thirsty too. Logic over 9,000. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go this way first. It'll be the more practically and efficient way to do things. Take some of those, could always use more. Let's just group these two guys up together. They're just kind of moving further and further apart. She moves a little bit faster in general mode, so we'll just stay in this form to get over here. There's our key. This guy's kind of sick. Oh, just right there. Oh yeah, I forgot I have poison on this weapon. Speaking of poison on this weapon, let's just get in monster form quickly and not get hit because that will kill us. I'm glad that didn't like pick up the rock instead. That kind of would that would have killed me for sure. Blood of the reptile family is noble and unique. No matter what time may bring, we must not forget this. Well, I feel like the blood of every living creature would probably be unique, right? That sounds kind of weird to say, but yeah. Okay, we're done. Let's go do the speedo. Okay, this is a potentially easy shot. Uh, I, mean, I don't know how it's gonna bounce in the water. I hope it bounces in the water. If it doesn't, then I'm screwed. Sweet. It didn't even touch the water. It bounced off the little edge there. That's good, we got it. Let's see what's in our chest. Stamina drink. Alright. It's like I'm doing every floor that doesn't have a fruit of Eden or potato pie. There's like eight of each or something like that too, man. Just unlucky, I guess. Well, it's not unlucky. They're on set floors. I just have no idea which floors. Doesn't matter. We'll get them when we get them. They're probably keeping some of them in the later end of the dungeon as well. I feel like that would make sense, since it is, like, a powerful item, really. Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna leave that, and we'll go this way. Floors are actually gonna be a little bit easier here. No healing, huh? I don't think that'll be too challenging. We're gonna go into this section first, because there's nothing locked over here. These enemies are probably pretty easy, yeah. They're like sub 5,000 HP. The good thing about having my weapons grinded is I don't need to stay and wait for the experience to drop, so I can save time there. Because I put in the time a little bit earlier already. Well, it's a good thing we came this way, because now we have the key. But I don't want to backtrack, so let's just go this way first. This potentially may not take as long as I originally thought it would. Well, as long as I beat this game today, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm saying it like I just want the game to be over with, and in a sense I do. Because I, I do love this game, I really like its story, its gameplay mechanics and all that. But this metalhead grind is just killer. It is the first time I've actually played this game to the limit, though, and I don't dislike the content or anything, but it does get tedious. Okay. Just, just like that. Anyway. So what happens when you're moving super quick. Up a tight corner. Alright. Now let's open up this thing. You never know where there'll be a mimic. Oh, cool. You can get Sargatanus to drop in here. I imagine that wouldn't be too hard to level up quickly in here. I feel like getting that thing to drop is also the equivalent of getting a darkness coin. Because you can just break that down and put it onto your weapon, and then you'll have darkness. Unless you have indestructible on your weapon, then it'll just get rid of that effect, and you would need to do another one. Yeah, these mobs are easy. We're doing the easier portion now. That is the wrong item. Gooma Mooga Gooma? I have no idea how to say that. Amagoma. Amagooma? Something like that. It's kind of fun to say though. We're gonna ignore that chest because I don't think it's gonna be a mimic. If it is, we'll just open it up. It won't really take too much time after these things are done. Alright, cool. It was not a mimic, so we do not need to open it. Shortest wipeout. This is a no healing floor, so... Just don't heal and we'll get the metal on the way out. Uh... I don't think this is possible, actually. This needs to ricochet the right way for this to be possible. And it actually... kind of ricocheted the right way, maybe. Potentially. Harder than I wanted. Are we screwed now? We might be. We might be screwed now. Depends on it. Okay. Man, we, we got lucky, and then I screwed myself. I don't think this is possible now.
I'm just gonna basically go as hard as possible and hope that this works out. <laughs> I did not go as hard as possible, but hopefully this works out. This, wow, I am so freaking lucky right now. That is amazing. Just go straight and we got this. Beautiful. I was not expecting to actually get this one, but we did, cool. That was definitely a little bit of luck right there. Fruit of Eden. Sweet. We're gonna give that to Monica. Because she is weaker than Max. Oh, she can't eat it because she's thirsty. That's silly. Oh well. We'll just leave. I'll give it to her and then we'll come back in. Three medals, not bad. Not bad at all. We did that in three minutes, apparently. Okay. Nice. actually making really good time. I'm surprised with how much it, I'm surprised how much of this we've gotten done in like an hour. No, not even that long. It's been like 40-ish minutes or so. Okay, new save. Uh, right here. I didn't get rid of my flotsam save, by the way. I have it uh, saved into the memory card slot too. Okay, we're just gonna go for the time challenge and speed on this one. I feel like it'll kind of be more easily I'll be able to do the item floors more easily after I've kind of mentally prepared for them and do them all at the same time. I am going to avoid using like shock items or whatever and I'll just show you. I am going to avoid using like windstone and flamestone, chillstone, lightning stone. I'm going to be using literally everything else first because everything else first you can just buy. So you really don't want to run out. of uh, the items that you can't just go buy somewhere or, or create. It's a better idea to just kind of go with your final bombs and stuff, in my opinion. I have no idea what might be in here, so we'll open it. It might be worth doing, we'll see. I mean, in theory that would be a good find, but in reality, it's not. Honestly, I feel like getting like repair powder to drop would be decent or ride pod fuel because that's like the only stuff I'm really using now. An iron spear. Is that a dragon? It sounds like footsteps of a dragon. King Mimic. This is a clown. Yep. Which shall it be? Very good. Here you are. Yes, Steve is basically the best the best uh, thing that you can use to speed through these floors. Because he's just quick and he does high damage. Honestly, we don't even need the Nova Cannon for her. Now, I'm sure we'll end up needing to utilize it a little bit later. It'll kind of help out in certain scenarios where there's just like seven or eight enemies grouped together that are very strong. Like if there was four rock fate, okay, yeah, like this would be a good situation for the Nova Cannon actually. Because if I attack one, the other one's just going to roll into me. So this kind of gives me an advantage. I can dodge them. Or take them out before one even gets close to me. Okay, we'll 
put the jet hover back on now. And we're good. Premium chicken. Don't have enough space for it. We'll ignore these chests until after. Oh, he's taunting me. And then he doesn't do anything. Okay, and we should be done now? Yes. Oh, this is basically a straight shot. That thing is kind of distracting. Oh my goodness, dude, did you see that? That is just a slap in the face. If I hit that slightly harder. Okay, I... I hope this works. If we mess this up, I'm gonna cry. Okay, cool. I wouldn't actually cry, but it would have been kind of annoying because of how easy, easy a shot that it originally was. It'd be cool if we could skip that distortion repaired thing. We don't need to see it after the 98th time. Oh well. Ah, oh, Peridot. I mean, it's okay. Don't really need it. Can I even use this thing if I really wanted to? Like, can anybody take it? It gives like eight, eight of a few stats. Okay, I guess I'm maxing the exorcism on my supernova, so it helps a little bit. <laughs> there we go, Max is the ultimate undead killer now. Getting stuff done. Okay, oh, ride pod only floor, easy. Fighting the cards now, huh? Okay. Well, Steve will make short work of all of them. <laughs> yeah, this is no challenge for him. He's two or three shotting all of them. That'll save us a bit of time. Now we'll go this way. I'm just gonna fix his weapons. Sugar cane. Yeah, these guys really are no challenge. The HP of the higher end mobs is kind of intimidating, but now I'm not thinking it's going to be that bad. Because they're basically just going to be two combos each and you're done. On your way. If there's no Mimics in that locked room, we aren't going to need anything from there as long as the speed it doesn't spawn in there. Gave the key to a club, huh? I would have imagined a diamond because diamonds are like the hardest gem or whatever. 
A diamond can only be cut by a diamond or something like that. Well, club's not even a gem. The rusted key. We may not even need that. And just like that, we're done, maybe. Sweet. Cool, we don't even need to go into that big room. <laughs> okay. I mean, we shouldn't hit this as hard as we possibly can, but like a decent... A decent weight. That's probably good. Now we need to go a little bit further. It's alright. Not so bad. Let's just kind of take a look at this first. Okay, yeah. Just wanted to make sure I saw it properly first. Okay, I don't want to hit it too hard. And then I hit it hard. Okay, that's a slap in the face. Wasting a shot. Maybe it's not so bad. It is kind of bad, actually. Stop! Why? Why? Oh my goodness. I actually don't think I can do this now. Unless we get this shot literally perfect, we are not going to be able to get this done. Yeah, we're screwed now. That's annoying. Well, maybe if we just hit this gently, it'll go up and down. Oh, okay, cool, we got it. Shouldn't give up so easily. Well, I wasn't really giving up anyway. Just being pessimistic a little bit. I'm usually pretty optimistic. But we got it, cool. Sapphire, alright. Well, I think we're done this for now. Never need to do it again. Wrong thing. Yeah, sweet, that floor is 100% done. Wow, we got it done in under three minutes. Hell Ward 1. <laughs> Using only Max's gun. Okay, well, I think it'll still be kind of easy. And I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Oh yeah, this will be easy. <laughs> Max's gun is basically as strong as Steve. Um, I'm not gonna go that bottom route because I don't know which chest will have the key. So we're gonna go all the way up to the top first. Gets jabbed by a literal 60 pound sharp piece of metal. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't even make Max flinch, which is the weird part. A lot of chess here. So potentially what we're looking for is here. I did say potentially for a reason. <laughs> I 
like, well, this guy won't be too hard. Now he takes big damage. He's pretty much weak against everything on Max's gun. Okay, there's our key. So we can just zoom by now with Steve. Just this one guy? It seems so. I think we already fought two King Mimics, so there's probably no more Mimics on this floor. Usually floors with two King Mimics, that's it for the Mimics. So I think I can safely ignore those chests. Although, the Magic Crystal probably wouldn't hurt. There we go. So now we know exactly what to expect, really. The chance that there's actually a Mimic there is very low, because we already fought two King Mimics. So I don't think it's necessary to go there. Since we already have the key, we're just going to open this up. Easy one for the last one. Okay, are we done? Yes, just as I thought. That's two, now let's go for three. <laughs> Is this a straight shot? Kinda. Okay, I think we can do this one. Man. That just sucks. It was like an inch off. Okay, if we make it bounce, then it'll be a straight shot. Beautiful. Three and one. We actually three and one like four or five floors, so that's pretty good. <laughs> And that should be the last dead end being unlocked, too. What do we get? Which parfait? Finally, Monica gets some armor. Okay, so we are going to leave it here for this episode, everybody. So I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope that you have a good day. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>